guitar again this is uh, an epiphone just kidding uh, it's a gibson es335 the custom shop um and the only difference between this then and when i played it last is that instead of 11s on it it's got 10s and for me this has totally changed the guitar and i don't know if you remember but before i said it, it was kind of like fighting <laughs>
now, like this is super reminiscent of the Greco Super Reel. I'm gonna do a video about this later on. One of the key differences is this neck feels slightly fuller. And uh, this guitar, I feel like Gibson got completely right. Um, it's a, a good weight, you know, this is not heavy. It just sits really nicely. I really love the block inlays, the finish is great. Um, you know, occasionally Gibson get it very right, I think. Um, so I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> go to bed but leave some questions if you've got any about this guitar um it's kind of making me think you know i could look for ages for a greco super real but i know that these are fairly common and easy to come by so um if this gets basically in the same ballpark as that greco super real then i could maybe save myself some disappointment one day um and just grab one of these, which might be a lot easier. Uh, I'll maybe also do a comparison with the Sire H7, uh, given that Larry does actually pay a Sire instead of a Gibson Alive these days. Um, be interesting to see how close or not those might be, but yeah, I just wanted to do a little video before I go to bed. Uh, I'll catch you in another video soon. Hopefully that was uh, vaguely okay to, to share with you. A very different guitar to I remember. Um, changing the strings can really make a huge difference to how a guitar feels to play, obviously.